Hi, Dan Petrie. How are you? Sorry, Rick's not getting nice to meet Hi, Lauren. Nice to meet you. All right, so um, I heard you talking about how you found the script here. What drew you to it? What drew me to it? Uh, uh, well, we, we were both drawn to uh, the story above all else of uh, the mystery of why, how this uh, idyllic kind of working class surfing background has to do with a marine being marched at gunpoint across the endless sands of a desert. What, how do these two stories connect? And I won't give away the ending where they do connect, but, but uh, uh, that's, that's what they do and it kept me turning the pages. How do you balance, as a director, the the dark side of the story with you know the, the more surfer the more surfer cu culture? Yeah. It's hard, you know, you, you because you have to be true to both. There are lighthearted moments, but that's life. There are lighthearted moments in life. People people burst out laughing at funerals. Uh, people uh, uh, cry at weddings. There are sad moments and happy moments that intermingle in all our lives, and that's what we were trying to show in the movie, too. Hi! I'm Lauren. I'm Kim Matula. Very nice to meet you. Hi, Lauren. Hi. We all do look remarkably like that's crazy. Right? I think it was really good casting. It worked out superbly well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I was talking to them a little bit about how These guys over here? Producer, director? Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> and they were talking about how it's it's an excellent question. Sometimes it's really hard and a lot of times you bring that home with you because you're really deeply rooted to it all day long and then when you go home you haven't quite shaken it off yet. But I, I turn a lot to, to music actually because I, I don't know, I find myself very very drawn to music and that gets me in very certain moods so that helps me get into that mode and then maybe get out of it as well yeah um, so what was your favorite experience oh my gosh well we got to film on the beach in ventura california i mean i'm i live in la but i mean how wonderful was that you know you go to work and it may be 6 a.m but you get to see the sunrise over the beach and it's really stunning so that was kind of incredible and the people in this movie were fantastic. Yeah, it seems like, just from what I've seen here, you guys have a lot of chemistry going on. Yeah, this is like a fun little reunion. We haven't seen each other in a very long time, and every time we see someone new, it's like, oh my god, how are you? You know, so it's really lovely. Yeah. When did y'all shoot? Oh god, we shot June of last year. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Thank you. It's very exciting. Thank you very much. Have a lovely evening, guys. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi Lauren, Chris, nice to meet you. And Scott. Scott, nice to meet you. Chris. Ooh, you guys are cute. This is great. This makes it everything so much better. Oh, yeah. um, speaking of cute, I've heard a lot about how y'all have the chemistry you guys are really like it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. Like I think I heard Kim say, we haven't seen each other since. We filmed it uh, the summer of 2013. And then pretty much haven't seen each other. We saw, it. We saw this film before it got like, super edited or color corrected or anything like, a while ago. But to see everybody here now is, yeah, it's a family. It's, it's, it's fun. It's like seeing, seeing family. <laughs> so, have you seen No, no, yeah. This is the first time we'll be seeing the actual, the final cut. So, you know, very excited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how do you how do you feel about that? Can I go lower? I play Ben Piper, who kind of is the uh, cause of his actions and choices cause a lot of the drama. Kind of. And honestly, it's it's kind of one of those things where I wanted to do the film because it wasn't pretty. It was very very gritty. And it's, I don't know, for me it's a bit of an excuse to just kind of go there. It's kind of the complete opposite of who I am in real life. And so to be able to kind of just have the freedom of just doing that is, is I don't know, it, it, was, it was exciting for me. I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of the trouble. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Good luck with that. Thank you. You too. I know, isn't that amazing when we saw each other? First of all, we saw each other at the audition. We were waiting, and I looked over and I thought, wow, she's perfect. And then she was really snotty to me, which made it even better because if you see the movie, she's she's quite a quite a handful. Yeah. So is it safe to say that after that first meeting, things were a little bit smoother and real? Yeah, actually, she was just a dream to work with. The whole cast was really fun, really excellent, and the script is the script is about something really important, I think. And we all wanted to do it and do a good job with it because of what the writers had to say. Yeah, yeah I've heard a lot about the camaraderie that you guys have. That it's one of those unusual films where we've stayed in touch afterwards, truly. You know, I, I email, uh, stayed in touch with producers, the writer, the director, uh, Rita, Kim, and that's Chris. And, and that doesn't usually happen, so this was a really special one. It's exciting, and it's exciting to see it on a big screen. Really exciting. It's totally different than when they send you a screener or when they show it in a, even in a you know pretty good screening room. There's something about the magic of seeing it in a theater with a lot of people and the energy. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And which cute dress? Oh, which, thank you. Which TV? Sh which are you from? Um, we are with Gotcha Movies. We are Gotcha Movies. Very good. Um, so you can catch us online. Nice to see you. Very good. Um, so tell me a little bit about your uh, I play Laura Rivera, and I'm. Uh, the film has a lot to do with xenophobia and localism and racism, and although it's set on a surf culture at a beach, um, my character. Uh, it's like putting a mirror up to the audience and see what their expectations are of a Hispanic woman, and it turns out the flip, the surprise is that I'm very different from who you think I am. Um, but I have a lot of desire for revenge. I hold a gun to Scott Eastwood's head for the entire film, and he tells his story and I tell my story. And then at the end, I deal with reconciliation, where I come to terms with my loss without having to seek revenge. Mm -hmm. Got to move on. Thank you. Okay.